everybody, my name is Becca and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be taking you through how to make four different plant milks in four different ways. There's a handful of reasons why I really love making our own plant milk. One of them is because it tends to be cheaper overall. The next reason is because there's a lot less waste involved. You don't have the packaging of the cartons that you can't really recycle easily. And the next reason is because there are less weird ingredients in it and I can control what goes in it. The last reason is convenience. So if I'm making pasta and really realize that I don't have some almond milk or whatever, I can just whip some up really fast and I don't have to leave my home to go to the store to buy some. So the equipment that we're using really fast is just a Vitamix blender and a cheesecloth. So a really fine cheesecloth that will strain things really well and that's all you need. So first we're going to start with oat milk. To your blender, add one cup of rolled oats and then four cups of really cold water. Blend on high speed for about 30 seconds and absolutely no more than that. If you overblend, it turns really slimy and disgusting. I like to place my cheesecloth right over the bowl so I can strain it right into it. It makes it very convenient. Go ahead and squeeze the milk out, but when you get close to the end, if you notice a consistency change, go ahead and stop squeezing as that tends to be slimy milk. This is totally optional, but I like to fortify our plant milks because we do have a one and a half year old that I like to make sure is getting enough calcium and vitamin D on our plant-based diet. So I actually add one teaspoon of calcium carbonate, one vitamin D and K2 pill, blend it up with a couple of dates, and there you go. Usually I'll go ahead and blend it all together and then I just dump my oat milk into it, blend it for just a second to mix it all, and then done. If you wanted to omit the fortification step, just pour it straight from the bowl into your containers and you're done. The pros with oat milk is that it's super easy, it's really quick, and it has a really mild flavor, so it goes along with everything really well, whether you're using it for cooking or coffee or smoothies, and it's just a really all-around good milk to have. So the cons with oat milk is that if you make it wrong, it will be really wrong. Like it will be really slimy and disgusting. So the two tips with making sure that the water is cold is really important. And also making sure that you don't over blend it. Because if you over blend it, it just makes it really goopy. So make sure you do those correctly. Um, other than that, two other cons that I can think of are, it's kind of a lighter milk. And so if you want like a really creamy, robust milk, you might want something like soy or cashew milk. The other con, well, this is true about all homemade plant milks. Separation will occur no matter what. We don't add like the emulsifying ingredients. And so yeah, you just kind of have to shake it up before you use it. It's not a big deal to me. And then I'd rather have it be natural than I wrote ingredients to make sure that it stays consistently smooth. I don't know, personal preference. Next up we have cashew milk. Take one cup of raw cashews and then soak them in hot water for about 30 minutes to an hour, or you can do it overnight in cold water. Either way works just fine. After soaking, go ahead and strain and rinse them, and then add them to your blender with two cups of water. We'll add two more at the end. Blend on high speed until it is really thick and creamy. Again, I chose to fortify, so I actually just added straight to the mix the calcium, vitamin D, and a couple of dates. Add in your other two cups of water, blend a stir, and you're done. So the pros with it is that it is super thick and creamy, and it tastes really good. It's a really fairly quick one. The longest bit of it is I have to soak the cashews in some hot water for about 30 minutes to an hour. Other than that, you just blend it all up and it's ready. <laughs> so that's really nice. That's really easy and there's no straining involved. So those are all reasons why I love cashew milk. The cons with cashew milk is that it is more expensive because you're using a whole cup of cashews and that tends to not be very cheap. And the other con is that it is a lot higher in calories than say oat milk would be just because you do have a whole cup of cashews in there that you don't end up taking out. So just be mindful of that. Next up we have almond milk. I wanted to show a different method for making this other kind of nut milk. So you can actually make it from almond butter. The same goes with cashew. You can make it from straight cashew butter as well. To your blender, go ahead and add four tablespoons of almond butter and then four cups of cold water. Again, with the option of adding supplements if you wish. It really helps if you have your baby around to start the blender for you. 
You can blend almond milk for as long as you want. It's not too picky. The pros with this method in particular is that it is so quick and easy. There's no straining involved. Really, this is if you're in a pinch, the quickest milk that you can make. The cons though are that it is a lot more expensive because almond butter is just not cheap. If you are interested in making almond milk from whole almonds, it's a pretty easy, simple process. Kind of like with the cashews, the only added things that you have to do is I like to toast the almonds to make sure that they have a really good flavor to them and then you do have to strain it out because it just makes it too gritty otherwise. So moving on to the last milk, the soy milk. <laughs> Take half a cup of soybeans and soak them for 12 hours. When they're done soaking, I like to give them a really good rinse and then add them to your blender with four cups of water. Go ahead and blend them on a high speed for about 45 seconds to a minute, just until they're all nice and smooth. I like to make it easier and just put the cheesecloth right over the pot that I'm using to strain it right into it. Give it a really good squeeze to get all of the milk. With soy milk, you actually have to cook it, which makes it different than the rest. The pulp that's left behind is actually called okara, and you can do things with it if you're feeling really crafty, but I'm not going to get into that this video. The way that I add my fortifications to the soy milk, I just take a cup of water and then add everything to it, go ahead and blend it, and then I just set it aside for a little bit. And this is not looking good. <laughs> I have made soy milk so many times and I have no idea why this even happened. Um, yeah, so don't let it look like this. We actually just threw this whole batch away and started again. Let's uh, pretend that never happened. <laughs> and yeah, let's do it again. There we go, that's looking good. So usually what happens is you get a little bit of a skin or a film on the top. So every once in a while, just go ahead and remove that. What you wanna do is just leave it on a medium to light boil on the stove top for 20, 25 minutes. After it's done cooking, I just add it to the blender where I made my little supplement mixture and I just blend it together for just a few seconds just to mix it all. And then you're done, pour it into your container and enjoy. The pros of soy milk is that it has a higher protein content. It's actually pretty comparable to a cow's milk protein level. So if you have young children, that's kind of what's recommended if you're raising them plant-based is to give them soy milk. Another pro is that it's really thick and creamy. The cons with soy milk is that it does take a lot more time and effort to make it. And a homemade soy milk is not as mild as a store-bought one. It definitely has a stronger flavor that you kind of have to get used to maybe, but try it out yourself. Well, that is it. That is my four ways of making four different plant milks. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I will see you guys next week. Thanks so much for watching.